Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to use nylon ribbons to make a pom-pom. Now it's going to be a variation of the pom-pom that we are used to, that you wrap around um, like a piece of cardboard and then tie the middle. It's a variation, but I think this one's pretty cool. So here goes. All you have to do is to use this gift wrap cord and string a needle that has an eye big enough for it to go through. And then you start by doing a running stitch. Now I am doing my stitch in the middle of the ribbon. And I just start by going, and I'm not measuring, I'm just going the length of the needle back and forth. So I'll keep going until I get to the end. I have two pieces of ribbons here and I will be using both of them. This has stripes, so I know exactly where the middle of the ribbon is. So I just follow that stripe. It's best to use a ribbon that already has some stripes, so you don't have to fuss about trying to draw a line to go down the center of your ribbon. And the longer your ribbon is, is the fluffier your pom-pom will be. Also, the wider your ribbon is, it's the fluffier your pom-pom will be in the end. And now, I'm at the end. So if you notice here, I did not cut the ribbon because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need. So I left the ribbon on, but now I'm finished. I can cut the ribbon. So I'm gonna cut the ribbon at the end here where I started, but I'm gonna cut the ribbon with a piece left over. Then I'm going to take this ribbon, I'm, I'm going to um, gather the end of my pom-pom ribbon and where I started the stitch with my gift ribbon here, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap around here as tight as possible. And we're going to make a few knots, pulling the ribbon under itself to make a few knots to hold it in place. I'll do it one more time just to make sure it's held tightly in place. There we go. Now it's tight in place. So I have this together. I'll just snip off the ends so it's neat and clean. Then you'll see what I do with this piece. Let's get back to the top and keep your needle in for now because we are going to need the needle to finish off. But what we're going to do is we're just going to Go ahead and we're going to push the ribbon down while we pull the thread. So we're just tightening the folds on themselves to create that pom-pom effect. Check that out, guys. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you pull until you can't pull anymore. It's now tight. So now I have pulled all the folds together, okay? And it is tightly pulled together. 
I am going to take, go ahead and take my needle and I am going to push my needle from the top hair, pushing it all the way back to the bottom, to the other end. It's almost like when you're doing like a tufted headboard and you're pulling through the needle to put your button or your tucks in. So now the needle is back to the other end of our pom-pom, our very frilly pom-pom. There we go. Now I can take my needle off and I have two pieces of ribbons, hair, hanging hair, right here. I am going to go ahead and tie all the folds neatly together so there we go tie as tight as possible there we go we're tying it together nicely and that's it that is your pom-pom you've made yourself a frill so i've tied it nicely together here and that's the pom-pom so we can just go ahead and make a tie at the top here where we can hang the pom-pom from and as we usually do when we do a gift and we use these ribbons we just get something like a scissors, pure scissors and pull on this and let it curl and pull on the other one and let it curl and there we go and we have a lovely pom-pom thanks so much for watching the videos guys if you like this diy idea give this video a thumbs up share it with somebody and leave a comment below now if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead man subscribe hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos with tips and tricks for your homes and garden recipes from my Jamaican kitchen and lessons from my design and sewing studio plus easy DIY projects like these that you can do. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.